Before beginning, shut off the flow of water to the hydrant by closing the isolation valve or hydrant valve. Test that no pressure is present by loosening a nozzle cap slightly and opening the main valve, turning the operating nut toward open. Once no pressure is found, close the hydrant fully. Be sure not to over tighten the operating nut. To begin disassembly, remove the weather cap hold down screw and remove the cap itself using a ratchet drive and half inch socket. Next, use a claw medallion, thrust nut wrench, and small sledgehammer to remove the now visible thrust nut. On open right hydrants, you will also need a standard hex wrench to remove the small set screw between the thrust nut and the bonnet. Place the thrust nut wrench on top of the thrust nut and tap the wrench with a small hammer, loosening the threads in a clockwise direction. Remove the thrust nut and make sure the o-ring is undamaged before setting it aside. Next. Remove the operating nut by placing the adjustable wrench on it and turning toward open. Continue turning until the operating nut threads off the stem. As you remove the operating nut, inspect the o-ring for visible signs of damage. You'll find two friction washers. Remove and set these aside for later use. Next, inspect the grease level and check for standing water in the reservoir. Standing water may indicate a failing main seat or missing or damaged O-rings. Proceed to remove the hydrant bonnet, removing the four hex head bolts and nuts with a drive ratchet and 15 16 socket. For bonnet stop hydrants only, Insert the jam nut removal tool over the upper stem and lower onto the bonnet until the socket engages the hex jam nut. Remove the nut by turning counterclockwise for open left hydrants or clockwise for open right hydrants. Omit this step if the stop is in the shoe. With the hardware removed, grasp the bonnet and carefully lift, removing it from the nozzle section and upper stem. To remove the main valve seat, you will need the Clow Medallion Hydrant Seat Removal Tool, which consists of two parts, the removal tool and the guide. Place the guide onto the tool and secure it in place with the tightening screw. Next, lower the tool onto the upper stem until the crescent notches of the tool meet with the pin of the upper stem just below the stem sleeve. Adjust the guide to fit on top of the nozzle section and secure the tool to the stem using the operating nut you removed earlier. Then, turn the wrench in a counterclockwise direction approximately five to seven turns until the main valve threads are nearly disengaged. Continue turning the wrench, lifting up to disengage the final thread. Next, carefully lift up the entire assembly until it is clear of the hydrant nozzle section and inspect for any damage to the main seat, O-rings, drain valve facings, lower stem, safety coupling, or upper stem. Any damaged or out of spec parts should be replaced. This completes the disassembly of the Clow Medallion Hydrant.